Precious stones. Today, I would like to share my own experience and the life I have went through in my childhood. I'd like to share that experience with you tonight. Back in 35 years ago, when I was a, just 16 years old, young boy, I had to walk at least four hours a day to go to the nearest school. I've seen my own auntie dying in front of me because she couldn't give birth to a baby. As a result of my own cousin, who was just 18 years old, very young, newly married, she died in front of me because she had an internal bleeding and she died because the miscarriage she had. I've seen my friend, he died in front of us because he had a very, very heavy bleeding from the leg fracture to help these unfortunate people. We do various charity, charity activities like and friends from the Swinfield Charitable Trust who ran more than 6,000 pounds from this town. Tapan ko ne pali haru dere baznu hunde sa ani cho hara hamin dere koshi pani unsa kine pani ne pali manchi haru ko man thulo sa hoyna sa ani raha pani garsa dere ani tesko bara ma hami hamro balaj ko manchi ali sikhnu saksa hola tar hami lai Koi koi bansa, no Nepali dari yam palat ma pasa, hami dari Nepal ma jansa, paisa peni Nepal ma hane ho, Nepali huru ke kanu hundisa, aile mali bano saksa, lo, char banjanko gane huru, kati dari pasa kamayo, ishkul peri dari brana bako, ani health post peni, teo egdam ramro hunsa, hamro lagi peni ramro hunsa, Hamro Ama Pashi ko lagi pani dere ram rohon sa. Tere pani dere dhanya baad sapai le. Mero na mero na pali ma sari sari na ram roho. Jara Japan ko swagat sari sari ram roho ani dere dere dhanya baad. Dere dhanya baad saap ani men saap. Every box. We all Gurung should be proud of him. I believe behind every successful man is a woman. In this case, I want to say thank you to his wife, Bimla. Thank you, Bimla. My wife joins me to wish you all happy Losar and happy new year 2013. Thank you, and God bless you. Jai Charbanjang. Thank you very much, Councillor. 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 That it's all great fun and awesome experience. I hope that from this we have set as good role models for all the youths out there, and they will too step forward and make good differences as we are the future. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Sophie. Very well said. Well done. Romaya Sanu Kui Kiwa Bana Chansu. So when the pile. Obviously, I have some academic time running out by the exam. They say, Jackie Pani, Mola got under some put around her life. Yahavi, Rokum dear, so I'm going away. This is like the Red Dunibadina Chanzu, a Kotipayaz, Yahoo Postman, and Allah, the Wahala Bunny, the Red Dunibadina Chanzu. Rest from Masano, Kuraki, Kipri, Manachanzu, and Erekin, 
मेरे साथ एक जना सुंदर रेग्मी वहाँ को भरकर ही छोई भाई कुछ करी करी एक मैंने भाई कुछ and all those of the organization who have helped us to help you build the clinic in Kalti. We haven't done any work. We were asked to help. We've helped to raise funds. Much easier than for our normal work, I must admit. And it's been great fun and a great pleasure to work with you for you to build your clinic yourselves. Your people carried the sand up from the river, the stones up from the river on their back. You felled the trees. You brought in all the plumbing work. You've done all the work. All we've been is in the background. What wonderful people to work with. Much better than anyone else I've had to work with. Thank you all. Empire Medal for his outstanding service to his battalion when he was still a young corporal. This award was presented to him by His Royal Highness Prince Charles at Queen Elizabeth Barracks in Oldershot in 1979. He carried out various appointments during the service at the British Army. With his outstanding report as a regimental quartermaster sergeant major, he was commissioned to the rank of Lieutenant Queen's Gorka officer and he retired from the army in 1995 after 24 years of irreplaceable service. After retirement from his army, he contributed his skills, time and money to help the communities and people in need. He was one of the founder of the member of Taiban Zeng to Tomu In 2006, he moved to the UK with his family. He was the founder of Taiban Zeng Tomusamaz UK and served three years for the association. He needed the new British uh, Buddhist Community Centre building in Aldershot. He is also tirelessly involved himself with Tomudi UK and other charitable organisations. He is married to Mrs. Yuba Kumari Guru with his two sons and two daughters. Lieutenant retired Narayan Prasad Guru BEM is a man with high dignity, compassion, honest, polite and very well integrated individual with strong determination. Darwin Zeng Tomu Samaj UK highly appreciate his selfless contribution to the Associate and its associates. Our association is very proud to have him as an advisor and a member. We recognize your outstanding service to the community. We would like to present this certificate of appreciation. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Retired Narayan Prasad Gurung BEM. Thank you very much for this award. I'm very, very pleased. We have very uh, time running now. We have no time, so thank you so much for my, uh, you, Tal Manjang, appreciating this, uh, my award. I really happy what I have done in my tour, and I will continue help this Tal Manjang for whatever, whenever. So, um, Your Excellency, um, Dr. Uh, Ambassador Chali Siju, and all the distinguished guests, thank you so much. I'd just like to say a few words the biography of Nina Gurung. Nina Gurung was born to Prem Bahadur Gurung and Mrs. Jagan Sova Gurung in Hong Kong, where Mr. Gurung was originally from Ripan Dampus in the foothills of the Mataputre and is originally from the 6th Gurkha Rifles. Nina was a gifted child and her parents gave special attention to her education from an early age. Mr. Gurung wanted to give her the best possible start. She completed her school leaving certificate from the famous Gyanodhya Bal Balika Higher Education and her plus two from the modern Indian school Kathmandu with the first division. Her marriage to Mr. Taikaji Gurung in 1994, her studies came to a sudden halt. But after her marriage, she worked as a project officer for a Japanese INGO, promoting welfare of street children in Kathmandu. 
Mrs. Nina accompanied her husband in the UK in 1999. She took a post of first Gurkha support worker in Invicta Park Barracks, also the home of the Queen's Gurkha engineers, which involved guiding and helping Gurkha families in the new environment. A married woman with children is hard life for any woman, let alone a Gurkha wife who has difficulties, but she kept her hunger for her studies alive. With the help and support of her loving husband, Daikazi Gurung, she did have BA honours in social work with first degree honours and also completed a master's degree in international social policy with a merit from the University of Kent. During her master's, she researched and narrated the first ever research on Gurkha settlement integration process in the UK. It was titled The Gurkha Settlement Process in the UK on the Opportunities and Barriers in the Integration. The outcomes of this research were so profound, I'll highlight to you a few of the highlights. Extensive media coverage, government releases 1.5 million integration fund for the Gurkhas. She then had recommendations for implemented by the Department for Communities and Local Government, UK-wide local authorities and also the large Gurkha populations. The University of Kent actually marked her research so profound as groundbreaking and sets up a Gurkha scholarship after her research for five years in any year and discipline for the Gurkhas wounded in service of dependents of Gurkhas wounded or either killed during service. The University of Kent's entry in 2012 Times Higher Education Award for Best Research Project was then given to Maya Garung, Nina Garung, sorry, I should apologize. Um, invited, she was then also invited to the School of Social Policy, Sociology and Social Research, Medway, by her tutor. She also runs the very popular website Gurkhas.com, solely dedicated to the Gurkhas all over the world. All money raised through the website adverts are donated to the charitable causes, including Gurkhas.com, Hatemala Project, meaning Hand in Hand Project in Nepali. The project established in 2008 supports the poor, physically disabled women with dependents to become self-sufficient through provision of training and startup funds to initiate their entrepreneurial ventures. Apart from all this, she still had the time for other charitable works, be it for Cancer Research UK, Red Cross or the British Legion. She currently helms the position of supervising social worker, session tutor slash research associate in the Home Office. Mrs. Nina Gurung is a good daughter or loyal daughter-in-law, dutiful loving wife and a caring devoted mother of two. She has two beautiful daughters, Yasmin Rani and Jasmine Rani, and above all, a true social worker. We are very honored to congratulate you on your achievements and wish you the very best of luck for the future. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Nina Gurung, Zaytar Wanjang. but I will make a very, very brief speech regardless because um, uh, Honorable Chairman Dai, uh, Your Excellency, and Lord Lady Swinfin, and all the distinguished guests, as well as the Executive Committee members of Charbanjang Samaj UK and uh, the wider committee members of Charbanjang Samaj. Um, I have, over the years, uh, gained huge respect and deep admiration for all the good work that Chad Bazang Samaj UK has been doing for the beautiful village back in Nepal. And in my capacity as, an, as a voluntary editor of Gurkhas.com, I try to promote their work as much as possible. Because I think it is a very, very good example for all of us Gurkha settled here in UK. Nepal, development Nepal. This development Nepal has been working for a long time in Sunsa district. Once they invited me to their uh, uh, fundraising event.